Illegal procedure against East Central. to the grease boat, we had a mess up already. We had a blown assignment already.
still walking that backer out. Up at the top. Come on, come on. Come on. Bend it back on him. Yeah, are you gonna tell him that? Yeah. Okay, you tell me to take that back. Take that back. Third down and six for the line. Tell him, he, hey, tell him there's a stud, tell him there's a flat out stud to sit there in the middle of that defense, Greg. You can't keep running at him. Hey, hey, now, nah, Greg, I was telling you, telling you to tell Mike Robinson if there's a flat out Put the 
kick is good by Steindorf. So with 34 seconds remaining.
The uh, field goal is Dyndorf. The hold by Woodard. Falling down, the kick is up. The kick is good. So it's 8.46 remaining in the third quarter. The hey, hey, tell them to, tell them to scoot up. That's Chris Long and Adam Brown. Back to return to Steindorf. Kickoff. Thank <laughs> you. 
Russian IQ is at a line.
Kaiser with feature number seven, Mark Kaiser, Shannon Bogart.
Northwestern and White over black with red numbers, the Bulldogs in solid navy blue uniforms, white numbers, and white helmets. This is for the Oaks Elementary Collegiate Conference football championship game. Oaks Elementary is the home team of the Oaks Elementary 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 Oaks
second down and 203 to go for a first down. Porter hands the football off. Scott with the ball across the uh, 45 and the 46 yard line. Although this is Cameron uh, Pitts. Cameron Pitts rather than Scott. Cameron Pitts. Six foot, 185 pound sophomore out of Pat. No, I don't. Uh, the left end splits the right side, but we get a pretty high buck. Close to the right side, high formation. As uh, Porter, the quarterback. Right now. 
Brad Woodard, junior quarterback from Bill, up the controls for Southwestern, single setback as Willie Brown in motion goes Reggie Jackson from right to left. Here's a quick pitch to Willie Brown coming to the near side. Willie across the 20 to the 22, and Willie is tackled by a numerical counterpart. Willie wears number one, and he was tackled with T.J. Williams, the Northwestern who wears number one. T.J. is the roverback, 175-pound sophomore from Pavada's pitch slap to him. Willie Brown, the leading rusher with 622 yards, coming into tonight's game, high formation. Second down and eight at the 22. Twins to the left side. Play action. Woodard back to throw. Loads up. Throws it over. And Jim service built. Here's the kickoff by Jeff Steinberg. The ball floats down will be fielded by Oscar Cummings at the 5 to the 10 to the 15. Cummings to the 20 out to the 25. Cummings to the 30 and Cummings out to the 34 yard line of the return before he's finally tackled by Landon, the quarterback. High formation, twin receivers to the left side, wide out to the right side. As Porter, senior from Tom Ball, Texas, hands the football off straight up the middle. Oh, crushing tackle. Southwestern's Gary Bigelow back and down in 10. The ball at the 34. No gain on the last play. Northwestern flip-flops their tight end from right to left. Four-man defensive front for the Bulldogs. Here's the hand, uh, the keep by, you know, the handoff to Porter. Handed it off to the fullback. Good, nice job of faking. We thought for a moment Porter had kept the football, but he did stick it in the belly of the uh, fullback. As carrying the ball, he ended up back almost at the 33-yard line, but they gave him point, uh, point of progress. Out to the 36. Twin receivers to both sides. Single setback. Gary Porter, the quarterback, retreats to throw. Steps up. Porter throws. Pass is complete. Out at the 47 yard line to Brandon Hill. Tackle made by Landon Curtis. It's a first down for Northwestern. Nice job by Porter. Stepped up in the pocket and drilled it to Brandon Hill. And up the receivers to the left side. High formation. Porter turns around, checks his back, sends in motion. Cameron Pitt to the right side. Here's uh, play action. Back to throw is Porter. Porter throws across the middle. It's caught at the 30. Down to the 26 yard line of the reception for the Northwestern Rangers after making the catch is Brock Blanchford. The Bulldogs leading 6 to 3 over Northwestern. Final meeting between two schools and started playing back in 1907 in the uh, first year of statehood in Oklahoma. Porter with the football. Porter on the quick pitch. Coming to the near side. Cutting back inside. is fed across the 20 to the 19-18 yard line. As his helmet gets torn off from him at the end of the run. And Glenn Cameron Pitt on number three. You trying to look over Murray's shoulder, right? <laughs> Murray covered up his answer so you couldn't get the right information from him. Here's the handoff on a... Looks like an end uh, coming around on the inside gear, but uh, defense beautifully as Brock uh, Blanchford, number 88, tried to carry the football, and there to wrap him up was one of the South Western Bulldogs. He found Junior from Tunnel. It'll be third down and a couple yards to go for a first down. Ball at the 18-yard line. Big third down for the Rangers. As to the quarterback. Porter on the option, keeps the football, gets to the corner, turns up field. He's got the first down, he's got yards to spare as he runs out of bounds at about the 10-yard line. Gary Porter, the quarterback, Johannes Brown chased him out. And twin receivers to the left side, single line out to the right side. High formation. As Gary Porter... Quarterback sticks in the belly of Pitts to the right side, and Pitt uh, fights his way down close to the three-yard line. Knocked out of bounds by Landon Curtis. Cameron Pitts on the K, 185-pound sophomore from Panama City. And uh, Coach Sharp against uh, Northwestern is four and six against the uh, Rangers. Porter hands the ball off. Bazin up the middle. Bazin gets into the end zone. Touchdown. Anthony 
Terry Faison scores from four yards out of the Northwestern Rangers and taking the lead back. Nine to six over the Southwestern Bulldogs. Anthony got the gap, and he rumbles in for the touchdown. William Shell will attempt the extra point. He is 20 of 21 in extra point kicks. The snapper is Travis Fox. Here's the kick by Shell. The kick is up, and the kick is good. There's a timeout of the field with 106 left to play in the first quarter. It's the Northwestern Rangers, 10. <laughs> Mike. 
Check my kilo. Yeah, Chuck, the uh, official's going to call a penalty just outside the goal, so it's going to be uh, marked off from the line of scrimmage, I guess, instead of in the end zone. But uh, we'll have to see what it marks uh, from the line of scrimmage. So it'll be a 15 yard penalty. And it's the 11 after the 15 yard pass interference penalty stepped off against Northwestern. Bulldogs throw off 10 to 6 with the ball, John Fletcher. Formation, twin receivers to the left side. Jackson goes in motion left to right. Rolling right is Woodard throwing to Jackson. It's incomplete. Is knocking it away. Nice defensive effort by Northwestern's Jay Tonku, who Woodard is going to go up the field. Charlie Cleed, Reggie Jackson wide right. And now uh, Coach Kelly goes wide right. So we got trips wide right, and they come to the left. Here's a pitch back to Woodard Brown. Fumble! And Northwestern has come up with a football. The Rangers recover the fumble. As coming up with it for Northwestern, Sam Joseph. Even in the very beginning, it was an odd, uh, odd uh, formation, formation for Northwestern, or offset eye, whatever you want to call it. Gary Porter, the quarterback. Porter on the option, hands the football off, spinning around the far side is Blanchford, and Blanchford across the 30-35, and Blanchford out to the 36-yard line. Brock Blanchford on the carry, back to all that time. It's a Fisher's. Northwestern leads it 10-6. Single setback this time for the Rangers. Gary Porter, senior quarterback, Bulldogs with a six-man defensive front. Here's the handoff, and straight up the middle goes the ball carrier, breaking outside down the sideline, 40-35, down to the 30-yard line he goes. And I believe and I think that's his first carry of the night. Looks like a right eye formation. Four-man defensive front for Southwestern. Here's the handoff. And coming to the near side of the carry is uh, Scott again, and Scott this time will be stopped at the 30 for no gain. Second down and 10, the ball up to 30. Took an eye formation. That was Porter, the quarterback. Porter is going to be dropped by Brandon Tucker. Tucker got through, wrapped up Porter, and slipped him down. Good grab the turf, back at the 34. Tucker in. Shotgun, Gary Porter, the quarterback. Play clock is ticked down to eight seconds, seven seconds. Ball is snapped back to Shaw. Rushes on. Ooh, the kick away. They could have blocked that one. As the ball hits it to 25 and will come to the sideline. Ooh, my goodness, one of the five hooks and Bulldogs hit on the sideline and knocked out of bounds. Came over and hit one of the Bulldogs. Didn't see who it was. Big man that he is. He makes the, he knocks the guy down and then takes off running across the field so nobody can retaliate. Oh, well, he knew he was in no man's land. He had to get out of there. Kizzy across the 30 to the 32 yard line. See if Kizzy out of bounds or off road and never did recover from a couple weeks ago. Then he comes to the ball at the 33 yard line. Wide right is Damon Willis. Wide on the inside is Reggie Jackson. 10 6. Northwestern leads it. We're just under 10 minutes left to go in the first half. Northwestern, look at all the people who got stacked in the line of scrimmage. Brad Woodard trying to automatize out of that. Steps back, throws uh, up, throws long downfield, threw it away. As it was intended for Damon Willis to Willis to streak downfield, Willis streaks downfield. Unfortunately, he didn't get the ball to him. Well, that was one of the handles surged by the defense. It'll be third down and three or four to go again for a first down as Northwestern has him stacked up on the defensive front. Woodard scrambling for his life. Jump ball pass downfield is incomplete as the pass was intended for Damon Willis providing the coverage. was got stopped Northwestern on their last series, but... Uh, don't take advantage of it offensively. Jeff Steindorf, senior out of California, one of the two old men on the team at uh, 28 years. Steindorf standing back at his own 20. Fourth formation and punting at 37 yards a kick. Steindorf with the win, booms out of beauty. Back to receive it is Doris. Doris fields the ball at the 15, escapes two tacklers and gets out to about the 18-yard line. Well, Doris had two bulldogs right in his face when he caught the ball, but was able to sidestep both of them and to get him a short run back. It'll be a 51-yard punt, but there's a penalty marker on the play. 9.36 left to play on the first uh, half of action. Northwestern leading the Southwestern Bulldogs 10-6, holding is indicated. A illegal use by hands against Northwestern, apparently. There. The flag was dropped at the 36, 10-yard line. Leading 10 to 6, 9.36 left to play in the first half. Porter looking over the uh, Bulldog defense, four-man defensive front. Porter hands the uh, football off to Scott left side, and Scott trying to sweep around the corner. Gets out close to the front's bound from Houses. Leading the way that time was Cliff Russell preparing for our 
broadcast. We go by and visit with the head coaches a couple of hours before kickoff. And we want to say that Dr. Steve Lemon is one of the nicest we've had the opportunity to visit with. Very cordial, very friendly. Here is Porter spinning out right side across the 20 to the 22 and forced out of bounds. By, well, a huge crowd, probably our biggest crowd of the season. The experiment on Thursday night football. Oh, I was just chain, uh, chain linkers here because they're looking through the chain link fence getting to see the game for free. High formation. Porter hands the football off, and the Bulldogs slam the door in the face of the ball carrier. Northwestern, Johans Brown was the tackler, and the ball carrier was Scott. Uh, a, little, a little talking going on between, between Porter and a couple of the Bulldogs. Uh, we'll see if that, uh, if that stays quiet or whether there's some ex escalation of that. Single setback. Porter taking lots of time. Six-man front for the Bulldogs. Stuffs in the belly of uh, Scott coming to the near side. We've got a flag thrown as the uh, ball carrier of the uh, Rangers and personal foul against the Rangers. So two of them against the Rangers. Ticket is for both of them. And uh, we'll find out who the, who the personal foul was against. But uh, the hold was definitely out here on the, on the end. I believe it was uh, against, um, well, I had the number one ago, but I've, I've lost my word. It's the second ball, so... Second down, back at the eight-yard line. 7.51 left to go in the uh, first half. Northwestern leads it 10 to 6. The referee marks the ball ready for play. Northwestern fans into this ball game. And so, uh, Northwestern fans on their feet. So, I don't think anybody's put on tonight. Porter, the quarterback, retreats the throw. He's back in his own end zone. Throws down the sideline. Got a receiver there. Western has to go all the way up the line of scrimmage. Come the Rangers. Six seconds left on the play clock. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. Porter hands the football off and straight up the middle. Running into the waiting arms of Gary Bigelow is the ball carrier, Cameron Pitts. And the flag is going to be thrown at the end. Maybe too much aggressiveness. Uh, they had Pitts stopped, and it looks like it's going to be against the Bulldogs, judging the reaction of Gary Bigelow. Western leads at 10 to 6, number one in the nation against number two in the nation on a Thursday night in the West Central Oklahoma town of Weatherford. Southwestern and Northwestern. Southwestern Oklahoma, Northwestern from Alabama, Oklahoma. Now we've got an Oklahoma under collegiate conference football action. Third down and 12 for the Rangers. Back in the round 29 after the timeout. Shotgun formation for Northwestern. Ball snap back. Man snaps the floor. It goes back. Picks it up at the five. Back in the five-yard line is at the five. 
athlete is the other tight end, Joe Hunt Brown, a wing back, a blocking back, going in motion left to right. Here's the give to Willie Brown, Rose, or no, the back to throw is Woodard. Clinton are toll free 1 800 310 6336. Hey, Culligan Man! You don't have to drive out of town to see a medical specialist because specialists visit Southwestern Memorial Hospital in Rutherford on a regular basis. Dermatologist, ophthalmologist, cardiologist, urologist, gastroenterologist, ear, nose, and throat. Those are just some of the specialists who visit Southwestern Memorial Hospital. Uh, 321 left to go. It's Southwestern 13 in Northwestern North. Deep kick drives it to uh, 108 to go post and out of the end zone for so Northwestern. We'll take over at the wrong in the postseason playoff both for bragging rights. Porter, the quarterback, hands the football off. Uh, Blanchard trying to go around the far side and uh, Blanchard gets to the corner and no more. Is that Blanchard or Scott? Oh, uh, Scott. Scott, number 22. For some reason, those 22 have been looking like 800, but I don't know. Twin receivers to the right side. High formation. Jerry Porter, the quarterback. Bulldogs have five men up on the line of scrimmage. Porter, play action, back to throw. Porter is going to be sacked for a loss. Back at the eight yard line. Coming into submarine, I believe it's Gary Bigelow. Yes, it is. Gary Bigelow. Gary in a hurry. And Bigelow just could have won in number two in the nation. Battling for the conference crowd, a playoff spot, and bragging rights. Gary Porter, the quarterback. Back to throw. Porter throws one out. Football! Uh, drop incomplete as the receiver caught it and lost it at the 10, so it's not really a... No, that's Scott, 22. It is Scott, huh? A minute 40 left to go before half. And movement by Northwestern before the ball is snapped. Up on the line of scrimmage, Chris Thayer, who's lined up like an offensive guard, 225 junior from uh, Enid She knows, uh, she knew a little bit about 
sideline kicking, and uh, to his right, to the upright. Well, let's go down to our sideline mic again, Mike Seaball. Her name is Angela Ray, and we'll try to get a hold of her uh, after Bargain starts and see if we can talk to her. Well, she's a, Angela Ray, is she not a tennis player or something? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. We're waiting on, I guess, the uh, 92, that was the year we uh, won the conference and we went to the playoffs and played here at home. Okay, in the first round of the playoffs. Against, you don't remember, I don't remember. We get ready to start the second half to kick it off will be William Shaw. Here's the approach for your kickoff. will be fielded by Jeremy Killip about five yards deep. He'll go down on one knee and not run his back. So that's the third time the uh, Bulldogs have elected not to run it out of the uh, end zone. Well, back in 1990, in Seoul and in Mexico, uh, no, that was 91, the year of the first Wellington State Championship uh, high school football game. Right. Here's the handoff to Keith Kizzy off the left side, and uh, Kizzy gets out to the 22-yard line. Tackle made by the uh, Northwestern Rampers tonight, and uh, for their meetings tomorrow, met someone in the hall. Dr. Bill Cole, the president of East Central, uh, but old, friend, old family friend, got to visit with him. Woodard, play action, rolls right, throws, incomplete. Woodard was under pressure that time as he had to just get rid of the uh, pass. As one of the big uh, Northwestern Rangers came, Chuck, third down, eight, wide right, Reggie Jackson and Charlie Creed, wide on the left side is David Willis, in motion comes uh, Kirk Talley. Here's a pass, knocked down, almost intercepted. As coming across with Sam Joseph, the defensive end is that trip to the right side, but Woodard threw back to the left side and coming as Steindorf, the number four punter in the nation in Division I of the NAI, averaging 37 yards a kick. To snap it, Jason Crisp. Snap back. Here's the kick away by Steindorf into the wind. Ball hits at the 47, takes a Northwestern bounce. Somebody for Southwestern got a hand on it at the 45. It winds up back at about the 42, but he was first touch back in the 45 yard line. Southwestern putting the ball to Western. Want the ball, want the wind in the, second, in the fourth quarter, but uh, they got the wind this quarter. Yeah, yeah they, they blew that. That pretty well stopped that, didn't it? <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't talk that out. Look, he's going to the right side. Southwestern saying we have it. Waiting for the officials to concur. A porter's walking off the field and he turns around to come back and see the officials unstacking bodies and just Southwestern goes on it. Newberg comes up celebrating, but he's not the last man up. It's uh, from north to south into the wind. Damon Willis wide left, Reggie Jackson wide right, high formation. Northwestern with a four-man defensive front. There's jumping uh, movement by Northwestern. The ball is snapped and carrying the football is Rod Woodard as Woodard gets out to about the 47-yard line. Now, that was one of those plays that they were still going to call the play, but when they saw, when they saw Northwestern shut off, they weren't going to give him a chance. Woodard keeps the center here by the, by the center and the quarterback in five, just inside the 50. 260-pound defensive front four for Northwestern. They're big. And again, moving by Northwestern. Here's the handoff. And carrying the football is uh, Kirk Talley. If Talley lunges down to the 46-yard line, be short of the first down. Again, moving that time, but he was stopped at the line of scrimmage. No coming into collegiate conference race has been very interesting this season. Right end slip, playing to the left side. Here's the handoff. And across the uh, 45 to the 44, 43 yard line of the carry for Southwestern, picking up the first round was Willie Brown. Tackle was made by the Northwestern Rangers, Eddie Scott, defensive end from Pawnee. Line averages 279 pounds from tackle to tackle. Right in his foot, that's David Willis. Quick pitch to Willie Brown, sweeping the left side. Uh, Brown lunges down close to the 41 yard line. It'll be second down into the last play. Wow. Willis wide to the right side. Jackson wide to the left side. Jackson comes in motion back towards the line of scrimmage. Here's the give to Willie up the middle, and Willie Brown gets to the 40. Tackle made by Sam Joseph. Defensive has a 62-man roster, 25th money. He said if they had a three-point or a better grade point average, you didn't. 
And he said, as a result, they wound up getting some pretty good kids in addition to athletes because of that when they bring in the out of -staters. We've got a timeout taken by South Richard before the play actually could start. And it's team Northwestern 10. Your clothes never leave town when you take them to Artistic Drive-In Cleaners and Laundry of Rutherford. All dry cleaning and laundering is done on premise at Artistic state-of-the-art facility in Rutherford. Plus, all work done at Artistic is under the direct supervision of the Crawford family, who has over 100 years' experience in the dry cleaning and laundry business. All dry cleaning or laundry work drops down around the five. Here's Nicole Connell, I'll go to him, because there's a big fountain down on the end of the field that they need to watch. Fourth down and seven, punting situation, Stein to kick it away. Ball well, snap back. Steindorf's kick is high, aimed for the cop, and Clover is coming down. It hits inside the two, and it's going to be down at the seven yard line by Chad. A 33 yard punt, as you said, uh, he did a great two way. That's just a step below the majors. Gary Porter at quarterback. Porter, quick pitch back to Pitts. Cameron Pitts trying to run out of the back end, gets cut down for Major. Well, he did pick up some yards, 15 to 20 miles per hour, and Northwestern has it behind them here in the third quarter. High formation, twin receivers to the left side. Bulldogs have the four men up in the line of scrimmage. Here's the handoff up the middle and goes straight ahead out across the 15 to the 16, 17 yard line goes Anthony Fajan, 14 pound senior from the team. Right out to the left side, right end his foot for Northwestern. Porter hands the football off to Cameron Pitts, and Cameron Pitts runs right into the, he's the number two tackle on the team this evening from Nest City, Kansas. Left end split, flank a right eye formation. Porter back to throw, fake the option, drop back to throw, throws a bullet up the middle, incomplete. As the pass was intense, fake the option down the line, and then he's dropped right straight back, and through was open just to overthrew. Down nine to go for first down at the 19. Clemson to the left side. Single setback. Porter back to throw again. Pressure coming. Throws is incomplete as uh, Johans Brown was in Porter's from the quarterback. Bulldogs are good. Well, Shell standing back at his own six yard line. Ball snapped back to Shell. No rush. Boone got a beautiful kick. Jeremy Kelp trying to track it down. Hits it to 30 and goes down the sideline. Where is it going to be marked out? Back at about the 16. So Bulldogs back in the 16. 64 yard punt. 64 with their defensive best has only given up 13 points in the third quarter all season long. I smell coffee. I smell coffee and it smells good. They can bring us some. High formation. Here's the handoff to Kizzy up the middle and Kizzy straight ahead gets out close to the 18 yard line. Senior from Liberal, Kansas. A transfer from Western Illinois. Western Illinois paper didn't have enough healthy people. They said thanks but no thanks. Will the car licking and keep on ticking? <laughs> Here's the handoff, and straight ahead, the ball carrier doesn't get anything. May have been Kirk Kelly. That goes Ryan Rhodes. Third down, eight. Uh, had cancer. He wanted to be back closer to home. Transferred to Southwestern. His uh, mom's cancer has gone in remission. And Woodard leading the Bulldogs. Back to throw Woodard. Looks right, looks left, throws left to Willis. Got him there. Flank to the right side. Here's the handoff up the middle to Kizzy, and Kizzy is nailed for a loss, shooting through to get him was Pete Bowe. Drops him for a loss back in the 48. It'll be second and third. Left end split, flat to the left side. High formation, four man defensive front for the Rangers. Reggie Jackson in motion to the right side. Here's a pass to Jackson, complete. Coming out of the backfield left the 40. Jackson is immediately tackled by Northwestern. That's a 30 yard pickup to Jeff. Third down and six. The ball at the 41 yard line. Right in his foot, trips to the left side. Shotgun formation. Northwestern has only one player back in the secondary. Woodard uh, scrambles up the middle, and Woodard's going to be sacked. Or dropped, that is, at the uh, 40 yard line. It's coming up to hit him was Eddie Small goes out of the sack, so he can right back to the line of scrimmage. So, but Woodard is not 400. And whoops, wait a minute. What do we got? We may have a fake button working here as uh, we're moving people around. Steindorf is thrown before earlier this season. Ball snapped back to Steindorf. Steindorf gets another high kick away, aims it for the corner again. It's going to hit at the five, take a bulldog bounce, and will be down at the seven-yard line by Justin Cornell. Kicking as far as you can catch. 
the third quarter. Gary Porter in the quarterback. He was the Big 8 freshman of the year in 92 for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. And the ball carrier, Cameron Hicks, tackled by Decline. The boot. Twin receivers to the right side. Left end is split. Back to throw. In his own end zone, Porter throws complete out of the 19-yard line. And David Womack immediately jumps on top of the receiver and brings it. Those uh, Kobe 10 passes or more, there are 13 players that have caught passes. Kobe Scoville, that's only his second catch of the season. High formation. Here's the handoff to the fullback, and the fullback uh, has Brandon Tucker in his face, and Tucker plants Brandon Tucker, weighs in at a mere 3 0 large or second in the nation total defense at 276 yards a game. High formation. Here's the handoff again to Faison. Faison breaks one tackle, but uh, he keeps fighting, and Faison gets down across the 30 to 31 yard line. Great effort by Faison. Looked like he was stopped two or three times, but kept squirming and lunging and got one. Coming in the Bulldogs to everything at him, and he's still a tough and a dandy. Bulldogs lead it 13 to 10. Right out of the left side, right in his foot. Jerry Porter, the quarterback from Tom Bell, Texas. Play action, rolls right through. Intended out at the 43-yard line, senior. Porter's not to be blue uniforms, white numbers, and white helmets. Right in slips, to the left side. Here's the handoff up the middle to Faison, and Faison across the 30 to 31, 32. Oh, and Bigelow got him high. Gary Bigelow, third down and nine. Big defensive for a play for the Bulldogs, and the fans rallying to help the D. Listen to the wind. 
Ignition is coming on Woodard up on Lodi for a time. Uh, Woodard is face, one quarter to go. Shotgun formation, Woodard, the quarterback, the southwestern. Snap back to Woodard. Woodard throws up the middle, incomplete. As Woodard gets uh, dumped, the pass is in line to the putter. Checks in, folks. This time he'll have an open field to kick to. Devin Doris back to receive it, standing back at about his own 32 yard line. We'll have to the call time out. There's a hole out there, Rich Low coming. Looking coach and Bauer Miller CPA is in Rutherford Court out of Yukon and Fox Class and Mirror in Rutherford. Steindorf to punt it away. Snap back to Steindorf. Steindorf booms out of beauty. Ball fielded up the 30 yard line. Running laterally to the 35, trying to get to the corner on the sideline and out of bounds. At the 40 yard line goes the return man. Offense in the nation. Bulldogs allowing 17 a game, second best defense in the nation. Gary Porter, senior quarterback from Tom Ball, Texas. Bulldogs with a four man defensive front, or five man defensive front this time. Here's the option uh, pitch. And uh, across the 40 to the 45 yard line comes Pitts, Cameron Pitt. Does that mean they're down to one time now? Look, that's what the scoreboard says. That's 100 Kansas. Left hand slip. Slot to the left side, our formation. Here's the uh, quick pitch back to Cameron Pitts. Pitts around the corner. Marshall Oliver meets him head on. As he gets out close to the 48 formation, Bulldogs in a five-man defensive front. And back to throw is Porter. Whistles and flags. Porter loads up, goes ahead and throws, even though everybody else has kind of stopped. Lined up head on the center what time was Gary Bigel. And he'll make it fourth down. It's not a four. Sharp is four and six against the Rangers. Back to throw the football. Porter. Porter could be hurt. Oh, that was that. He's back to, for sure on the second of the up again. Look at that. Brandon Crusher almost had him down. Running into the wind. Ball snap back to Shell. Here's the kick in the wind. The wind blows it down. Hits it to 45. Takes a bulldog bounce back across the uh, 50. <laughs> Northwestern has a, uh, a, a quick pitch back to Kizzy, hands it off to, 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 to uh, Jackson, back to Woodard, he throws down the field, makes Willis at the 25 to the 20, Willis to the 15, and Willis out of bounds at the 13 yard line. Who the throw? Handed it off to Kizzy, Kizzy handed it off to Willis is limping. I believe they call that the flu flicker, Chuck, or uh, that's the one you draw up in your back. It's a 35 yard pass play. I think they got rough in the pass. Yeah. 
the shell. Kick away into the wind. Wind again pushes it down. Ball hits the uh, 50 to 49 and goes out of bounds. Boy, Jake Jensen just got his clock clean. He was down till the cover and somebody hit him. Oh, I see championship game and a clinching of the world. Brad Wood the quarterback. Reggie Jackson goes in motion. We've got movement and flags and whistles again. Jumping for Northwestern was uh, Fetty O down to the 46. Well, Woodard wants to left in. <laughs> Here's the handoff to Ruffy Brown up the middle. And Willie gets down to the 45 yard line. So, the lot more for overtime and Rutherford won it. Of course, this is kind of precarious here tonight. 16 to 10 if uh, Northwestern scores and kicks the uh, extra point. They could win this ball game to one. That would be a heartbreaker. Pitch back to Willie Brown. Brown, left side, gets across the 45, down to the 43-yard line, and Rhodes, or Jaden Cooper, actually, was out third down, three to go for a first down, the ball at the 44. In motion, Reggie Jackson to the right side. Rolling right is Woodard, throwing, knocked away, and almost intercepted. Intended for Reggie Jackson. Nice job again by Jim. He was keeping the defensive back away from the football, or that could have been off of the wind behind his back and kick away. Try to pin Northwestern back down inside the 10 again. Ball snap back to Steindorf. Steindorf, high kick, aims it for the corner. It comes down and hits out of bounds somewhere down around the five-yard line. Nice job again by Steindorf. Got a number eight Steindorf for defensive player of the week. Who is putting tonight? Going to be long, but it'll be very effective. Steindorf has pinned them back at the seven, the eight, and Long setback. Now he goes in motion, so no one in the uh, backfield. Back to throw his footer in his own end zone. Zips one out. It's incomplete. Pass is way short. Pass was intended for Oscar. Uh, Washington was the only one who was going to catch that ball. And uh, Porter, single setback. Pitts lined up in his own end zone. Back to throw his footer. Porter throws. Pass is incomplete. Guard away by Jake Vincent. The snake at it again. They, they, uh, they don't go to it for Matt Marshall and Jake Jensen was there to break it up. Passing for 130 yards. Porter, the big eight freshman of the year for Oklahoma State back in 92. Porter back into his own end zone to throw. Steps up. Porter throws. The pass is incomplete out of the 19 yard line. Broke it up by Landon Curtis. The pass was intended for Brandon Hill. High yard line. So that means that uh, the, bo the uh, Bulldog defense has held nine yards deep in his own end zone. Ball snapped back. Shell gets the uh, kick away. Wind pushes it down. Jeremy Kelp, tickling fair catch, makes the fair catch at the 25-yard line. Jo nice job by Jeremy Kelp making the catch at the 25. We got a flag back in the uh, coming into the kicker. We'll see if they call it roughing or running in. It's a five-yarder. It's a five-yarder, so it, it will not be a first down for Northwood. As the ball snap back to Shell, gets the kick away. Ball hits at the 44-yard uh, line and is down. So Northwestern improves their line a little bit. Southwestern takes over the football. He died left to go. Clock management very important now for the Bulldogs. Right end split. Flank to the left side. Here's the handoff to Keith Kizzy, and Kizzy's going to be dropped for a loss. As three Northwestern nose guard was one of them. The other one to get the positive yardage here and keep the ball and the clock going. Twins right, left end split. Kizzy in motion to the left side. Here's the give to Tally on the draw. And Tally across the 45 to the 44, 43-yard line. Tally is left. It'll be third down and a long 10 to go for the first down at the 43-yard line. Bulldogs lead 16. Third and 10. Twins right, left end split. Quick pitch back to Kizzy. Kizzy sweeping the right side. Kizzy 40. Kizzy down to the 37-yard line. He stayed in bounds. So go for first down. Ball up to 37. Put it again. We're going to take a penalty here. We're going to take a delay so we'll give them a little more field to work with. Run a little more time. And uh, the, on three of his last five punts, he's been Northwestern at the seven, the eight, and the five. But here's a kick by Steindorf. 
This one's down the middle, and it hits in the end zone and goes out of the end zone, so this one will come back out to the 20-yard line. It'll be a, it's going to be a 40 games for the championship of the Oakland Intercollegiate Conference. It's a Bulldogs win. Southwestern and Northwestern will ride in front of I guess, and hopefully here. I don't know what the, uh, hopefully in an afternoon. I guess you bid for it. Here's uh, Porter, hands the football off, and this is Scott trying to get around the uh, corner as Scott gets to the 25-yard line. There's a marker on the pitch for the game. If, indeed, the Bulldogs hold on to win it, and, and they go. Well, they move the ball back to the night. And, of course, you said hopefully the afternoon, because we're hoping it'll be a Weatherford Eagle game that Saturday night, right? Right. In Marlowe or Cushy. Can we get there from here in two hours? Here is the uh, quarterback corner rolling and throwing incomplete. A quarter is going to have nightmares of Bulldogs chasing him all over the field. They, they've seen such a good game tonight. They should come back around and pay for the price of having watched it three. Here's a pass across the middle complete out of the 25 yard line. Great reception to Brandon Hill. Some fans are into his game. They say, get that clock over there. They're watching, they're watching it all. Huh? Wide out to the right side. Twin receivers now to the right side. Single wide out to the left side, single foot back, man in motion from right to left, Porter back to throw, Porter throws out the near flat complete, but uh, short of the first down and the flag is thrown in. The uh, pass was caught by Rob Donetso, Jeremy Williams made the tackle when the flag was thrown right at the end of the play, Paul Sharp protesting to the official on the sideline.
Time sports cars in a swing day night Saturday night from 9 to 11 to less to 4 only. Going into Farm Ontario tonight every Thursday night. Thursday night for also ladies night. Three long nights to the ladies from 9 to 11. And sports fans go to one time for Monday night football and clean food. Every time is a good time at the one time sports bar. Fix the triple bowling store on Jerry Bubba Barney's Christmas. Looking for a way to eat healthy and still enjoy delicious food? At Subway, you can choose from eight different six-inch subs that are six grams of fat or less. The Southwestern Bulldogs will have to win a national championship in football as next year they move to NCAA Division II. Both teams are out on the field. The referees are meeting at, at the 50-yard line. They break, so Southwestern ready to receive the football. Northwestern ready to kick it off and with. The play-by-play -play of playoff football in AIA Division I style, the voice of the Bulldogs, Chuck Edwards. Thank you very much, Clay Roper, and of course joining us on the sideline this afternoon will be Mike Cosebo, and Mike, of course, was here uh, nine days ago when the Bulldogs beat Northwestern 16-10. to 10. Sounds like the atmosphere is just as festive, uh, Mike. Yeah, Chuck, we've got a good crowd here. Later out in crowd again this, this week, but uh, they're starting to make a lot of noise again tonight. I'm afraid that the wind is starting to die down, and not that we're going to do without it, but I'm afraid it might start kicking up out of the north. But it's not long as hard down here as it was 30 minutes ago. Well, that's correct. That wind is due to shift. We're expecting uh, severe weather to move in, and it's going to turn the other direction, come out of the north, get cold, and possibly some precipitation. Well, we're ready to play football. It's exactly 1 o'clock as the Southwestern Bulldogs and the Northwestern Rangers getting ready to meet in the semifinals of the NAI Division I College Football Playoffs. Back deep to receive of the Bulldogs, Willie Brown and Jeremy Caleb, number one and two, to kick it off for the Northwestern Rangers is Will Shell, a second-team All-American kicker last year, a first-team All-Conference selection this year. Here's the approach, and the football game is underway. End over end, the ball fielded five yards deep in the end zone to Brown. He's to the goal line to the five to the ten, and Willie out to the 15, dives out to the 17-yard line. Willie Brown on the kickoff return for the Southwestern Bulldogs, 17-yard line. Southwestern averaging 19 and a half points a game, allowing City 3 to 20 in the first quarter. Brad Woodard, who missed four days of practice because of a death in the family, operating at quarterback for the Bulldogs, Junior from Dewey, Oklahoma, hands the football off to Kurt Talley, and Talley trying to go straight up the middle. The fullback is stuffed by Peter Bayless, first team all conference nose guard, six foot, 240 pound junior from Arlington, Texas. Far side, he marked it before it. Uh, but the ball did shoot out. Woodard went back to get it, so they're at the 16-yard line. Trips to the right side for the Bulldogs. Uh, Charlie Reed, the big tight end, is wide out to the left side. Single setback. 
as Woodard back to throw the football. Woodard throws out in the flat complete at the 20 to the 25 to Keith Kizzy, and Kizzy out to the 30-31 yard line. Kizzy will pick up the first down for conference selection. It is a first down for Southwestern. That was a great play by the Bulldogs. Uh, if he gets it in the flat, picks up 13 yards in the initial first down of the ball game. Right in split, flanker left side. Here's the play action uh, pitch back to Keith Kizzy as Kizzy trying to sweep the uh, left side is caught at the corner as he headed to south. They're making all conference selection. Actually, he's a four-year letterman, including this season. It'll be Saturday. He's minus four in the running game. Twins right, single wide out to the left side. Northwestern showing a lot of people up on the line of scrimmage. Back to throw is Woodard. Rolls right. Woodard looking. Woodard throws to Reggie Jackson. Complete at the 42. Jackson having to come back as he stopped in front of his defender. Came back and made the reception covering. It's another first down to the Bulldogs. Great play by Reggie Jackson. He was supposed to go on a fly pattern. He went in 10 at the 42-yard line. Bulldogs moving from north to south into the wind. The wind out of the south at uh, about 15 miles per hour, south-southwest. Kizzy trying to come to the near side. Kizzy's going to be stopped for no gain, maybe even a loss back at the 40-yard line. He's been an assistant coach for seven years. So far, the offensive line is not fired off and opened up any holes that the running backs can get through. No score, just over 12 minutes left to play in the first quarter. Quick pitch back to Keith Kizzy, left side across the 40, 45, and Kizzy out to the 50-yard line. Nice run by Keith Kizzy, leg tackle finally by Peter Bayless. First team went four yards a carry, 470 yards coming into this ball game. Back to Norman. Left end is split, trips to the right side. Northwestern with a four-man defensive front. Shotgun formation, snap back to Woodard. Throws out to Reggie Jackson, complete at the 39-yard line of Northwestern. It's a first down from Shards. The reception, five touchdowns. He's fifth in the conference in receptions. This may be one of the cases that the first and 10 at the 39-yard line of Northwestern. Four-man defensive front for the Rangers. In motion goes Kizzy to the left side. Single set back, Tally. Here's the handoff to Tally, left side. And Kirk Tally hits down to the 37-yard line. And coming in for a late hit on the uh, Bulldogs. There was some uh, after-game excursions last time. Uh, didn't get a flat from him. Left-hand split, that's Damon Willis. Twin outs to the right side, Charlie Reed and Reggie Jackson. Shotgun, or no, a quarterback is in underneath. Single setback, here's the give up the middle to the ball carrier, and he gets down to the third yards to go for a first down. Jason Penny, one of the offensive guards, and averages 279 pounds from tackle to tackle. Right end split, trips to the left side. Jackson coming back in motion towards the line of scrimmage. Shotgun ball snap back to Woodard, throws off his back foot, throws incomplete. Intended down for Charlie Reed at the five-yard line. Just slightly under throw. Hey, Chuck, is because Woodard didn't get enough chance because Joseph came in wide open. Okay. Here's Jeff Steindorf, fourth in the nation and punting at 37 a kick. He had a great night against Northwestern the last time out. Pinned him back inside the 10 on three occasions. Has a short field to kick to this time. He's aiming for the coffin corner in the wind. Ball will go out of bounds some square down around the 10-yard line. So it's going to be another nice putt by Jeff Steindorf, 28-year-old senior out of California. The official marching back up the field will mark it out at about the 11-yard line. The Northwestern Rangers 8-2 and two on the season. Gary Porter is their quarter running back is Dwight Scott. Now, Scott didn't touch the ball until the 23rd play nine days ago and Scott is not a starter here this afternoon here's the quick pitch back to Cameron Fitz and Fitz is going to be dropped for a loss and a late flag goes up now I don't know what this is going to be but was it a celebration made the tackle personal foul call against the southwestern Bulldogs so they tackle Fitz for a loss but they like it'd be a five yard sack on Pitts and they're getting crew out of uh, Dallas, Texas. It's a six-man crew, plus they brought along an alternate. We'll tell you who they are a little bit later on in the broadcast. First down and 10. The ball at the 21-yard line. Northwestern moving from south to north. The wind is out of the southwest at 10 to 15. Looks like the wind is starting to lay just a little bit, and that means usually the calm before the storm. Bulldogs in the four-man defensive front. Three linebackers. Gary Porter, the quarterback. Single setback this time for Northwestern. Porter. Rolls right, Porter being chased, throws the uh, screen to Brock Blatchford. Blatchford to the 20, 25, 30, and Blatchford out to the 32-yard line. Blatchford was knocked down by the Southwestern Bulldogs, Jim, as pressure was coming that time on Gary Porter, but he is effective and picks up the first. Blatchford out here, it was a set-up play the whole way, I believe. Northwestern huddled 13 or 12 men that time because Blatchford broke the huddle and went off the field. High formation, left-end split, twin receivers to the right side, four-man defensive front on the reverse. Here, no. They uh, hand off up the middle as they fake the reverse. They fake the reverse to do a loss of a yard. It'll be second down and 11 at the 37 seconds left to play in the first uh, quarter of action. Semifinals of the NAI Division I National Playoffs. 
The winner of this one will play the winner of the uh, semifinal game between the two Montana teams in two weeks for the national championship. Gary Porter, the quarterback. Porter hands the ball off to Cameron Pitts across the 30. Pitts fights his way out to the 33-34 yard line. Johans Brown got, did not have an Oski in his college career until this year, and he's a senior out of Pittsburgh, Kansas. Twin receivers to the left side, wide out to the right side, single setback as Gary Porter, senior quarterback, out of Tom Ball, Texas, back to throw. Zips one up the middle on the side, complete out of the 45-yard line, complete to Matt Marshall, Marshall game. So far, the offensive, uh, offensive game plans seem very similar for both teams. Uh, and uh, ten yard, more than 10 receptions, double-figure receptions, and Marshall is uh, fourth with 14. Left-hand split, wide out to the right side. Here's the quick pitch back to Cameron Pitts, and Pitts around the right side gets out to the 48-49 yard line. Tackle may turn out to Johans uh, Brown's job next year. He's played along long, showing a five-man defensive front this time. They've got a nose guard lined up on the uh, center head-to-head. Right-hand split, flank on the left side, eye formation. Gary Porter, the quarterback, here's the quick pitch back to Cameron Pitts. Pitts coming to the near side across the 50 to the 49-yard line goes Cameron Pitts. A tackle made by Southwestern's Jimmy Mall Conference selection this year. It'll be third down and five. So 